Friday, it was November 28th on a Friday night after we ate, my mother said to me, you go and see if this grid school will give you the, the birth certificate. Uh, and that was the last time I remember my mother standing outside the ghetto. She waved to me <laughs> and she says, don't forget what I told you. Because any time they will take us to the, to the Yavor of ghetto. If I, if I am shot and I fall, you and Chaime go on. Don't look back and save your life. But when I went to this, to this lady, she said to me, why don't you stay overnight? Because it was Friday night and usually the Axias, the, the Germans had a way of coming and, and taking people on Friday nights. So she says, why don't you stay overnight? And in the morning, when my Hanka and, and Zoshka is gonna go to milk the cows, they will, I'll wake you up and, and you will go with them back to the ghetto. During that night, they did not, she did not, she was, a, she was a very uneducated woman, but a very kind person. She did not wake me up. She sent her two daughters to the ghetto to see how things are. And, and when they left, actually, they woke up, the people in the ghetto, and they said, we saw the Germans coming in here. They're going to go to... To, that, to the other building there, and they probably will come after you. And this is how this Clara, actually she got dressed, her mother gave her something to eat, and when the Germans came in, it was around four o'clock in the morning, when the Germans came in, uh, they were already dressed and expecting what, what will happen. But she did not, she promised her parents that she will not run away until the very last minute. And when they saw the Germans coming in, she ran out. She just didn't take anything, whatever she had prepared to take with her. She didn't take anything, and she ran in a zigzag because somebody said, if you run in a zigzag and they shoot after you, the bullet may, may hit you and it may not. So the Germans did shoot after her, but she ran away. Now, Clara.